Hello everyone, this is VP1930 Production Theory, and welcome to another episode of LEGO Reviews. Last time, we had a look at the LEGO for KCET, which is a pretty impressive LEGO to be made in the late 70s. Today, we're gonna look at the latest LEGO from Disney. I'm pretty sure you all know Disney. Disney is a film company known for making some of the most iconic movies of all time. I don't really feel like listening, because I'm pretty sure you know like, at least like three Disney films, I'm pretty sure, I don't know. But anyways, we're going to be looking at their most recent logo, which was introduced in 2022 to prepare for Disney's 100th anniversary. Let's have a look at it and see what it has to offer. I think this logo is quite an improvement from the previous logos. The logo starts off exactly the same as the 2006 one, but then it's revealed that the logo is actually underwater, and we see the star jump out of it. We see the star flying around, and then we see it go up a waterfall. And then we see the Disney castle, and it ends exactly like the 2006 logo. Now I think this is a really great logo. I like the new reimagined version of the fanfare, and the visuals just look amazing. This is one of my favorite logos ever, and I think it's way better than any of the other logos that Disney's used. And other than that, I don't really have much to say on it, so I guess I'll just rate it now. But anyways, for my rating, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. The visuals, music, and almost everything in this logo is very well made. And other than that, I don't have much to say on it, it's just a really good logo. And that's going to wrap up today's episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to the CP1970 Productions, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later. Get this. No. Get this. <laughs> Did you get any of that? It's a good show. <laughs> Shh.